So when I post pictures of cars, uh, SUVs, and the trucks, people often ask me, how do you get that so glossy? What are you using on it? You know, they think it's one of those services that you take it and then they spray whatever compound it is they spray on it. Nope, I use three items. And I'm gonna walk over to my very dirty Jeep Wrangler right now, and I will show you two of the three and uh, how it's done. So the Jeep has been sitting out and it's got all sorts of dust on it. It's got some tree sap on it and it looks pretty dirty, like you're gonna need some soap and all that, but you won't. Here's what you do. First, I use this, very soft, made for cars, just to wipe the dust off. Simple, easy. And you just do it lightly, you don't press down. And you can see all the dust just lifts right off. Then I just take the McGuire's wash and wax anywhere, waterless wash. At least spray it on. A nice terry cloth rag or towel. Lightly over it once, twice, a couple times. There you go, the glass is back. What's under all of this is actually Meguiar's as well. It's just Carnuba wax, the uh, kind that comes out of the tin round can. There you have it. Simple, easy. See, keeps it smooth and ready to go. If the area is down near the running boards or the butter and the fenders really have a ton of mud and stuff on them, I actually just use water only and uh, just rinse it, rinse it, rinse it until uh, most of the water turns the heavy dirt into mud. And then I just wipe it easily with a uh, terry cloth rag as well. And then after that, then that's when I would come back and just again, this product, Terry Cloth Towel Lightly. And there you see it. Got some on the fender up in here. Again, go lightly. You don't want to smush the dirt into the paint. You know, that could cause scratching, but just lightly clean it off. And that's how I keep all these cars so clean a uh, few minutes here and there. How you doing? Looking smooth and good. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.